Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will do nail extensions using non-stick uh, gel from Born Pretty. And I will show you how you can fix a nail if uh, you put two less non-stick hand gel and the extension didn't went through. I will show you all the things while I'm doing my nails. This is the non-stick hand gel. I've been using it in other videos of mine and you can see them in the playlist. It's very easy to use. Um, you can use it with tips or without. In this video, I will use it with tips already. Now, if you like my channel, please follow, subscribe and uh, click the notification bell so you will know when I'm posting videos. This is the first step. I'm uh, buffing the nail and getting ready to prep the nail for uh, non-stick hand gel. By the way, the, this non-stick hand gel, you can find it in the link description below and you can purchase it. If you are getting it through my link, I'm affiliate and I will receive a commission. Now, in prep, a very important step is to remove the dust whenever you are getting ready for application. At this point, I'm just doing the cuticles a little bit. My nails are almost done, so I don't do too much prep in this video. I just uh, do some touch-up. Now I'm getting ready the nails for application. I apply pH bond, a generous amount, on the natural nail to prepare it for base gel. Base gel that I'm using, I apply one layer and cure it under LED lamp for 30 seconds. This layer is protecting the natural nail from um, the other layers of gel that you are adding on the nail. Getting ready and preparing the tips. Tips, I already fit them so I know which size I'm using. These tips, I bought them from Daiso. You can buy any tips you want, any size, and uh, use it. In this video, I'm using these tips with the non-stick hand gel, and I will remove the tips after. So what I'm doing now is that I'm placing a small uh, amount of non-stick gel and make it um, as thinner as possible. Whenever you are uh, using the non-stick uh, hand gel, your hands need to be sanitized and uh, free of uh, natural oils. The oils are contaminating the non-stick gel and uh, will make it harder to, um, to stay on the nail. It will cause lifting. So I'm doing this for all tips and when I'm satisfied with it, I can apply it on nails. The good part of this non-stick hand gel is that you can work with it as more as you want. Uh, until you are curing it, it will not uh, happen anything. It's like poly gel. You can mold it as much as you want and it will not happen anything until you put it under LED lamp.
Now that I finish them, I will just press them on the nail. I don't use too much pressure. I just tap a little bit on the nail to make sure that it's covered from side to side. And uh, that is all. After that, I will put them under LED lamp. And I don't need to keep them pressed while I'm putting them under LED lamp. So I can put them under big lamp. Don't need the one finger lamp. Now that I cured for 60 seconds or 30 seconds as much as you want, I'm removing the tips and I use this uh, cuticle pusher to open, to create a gap between non-stick hand gel and tips to remove them properly. It is easy to remove, it might look as a struggle, but uh, once you are uh, finding out that opening, it will just remove immediately. These tips are reusable if you are using them on your own hands and uh, yeah, you can use them next time. Now, if you look at them, uh, shape is not perfect. Uh, some of them don't have the strength because I didn't put too much non-stick hand gel. But this video, I did it like this on purpose because I wanted to show you what will happen if you don't put too much uh, enough non-stick hand gel and how you can fix it. Now, I'm a little bit outside the camera, but uh, I assume you can understand that I'm just filing and shaping the nail so I can see what I did wrong and where I need to fix it. The next step is taking a ceramic bead or you can take a carbide, carbide bead and clean around cuticles. I need to uh, create uh, a smooth surface between non-stick hand gel and natural nail so it will not be that bulkiness. Another useful step is to use the sanding bit around cuticles or on the nail just to smooth out the product. And with this, I could see that I have some lifting already on this ringer, so I have to smooth it more and probably to do 
the extension here because it's too short. I want the nails to be short, but the last two fingers are shorter than the other one. Now by filing, I'm seeing that this pinky is too weak and I'm filing it all and I will do an extension on it. So in this video, I will use um, nail forms and acrylic gel to fix the last two nails, the pinky and the ringer, because I need to make an extension. I already cut it what it was the length and I need to create a new one. So I'm using these forms. I bought them, I think, from Shein. You can find them on Amazon, on AliExpress. You can find them anywhere. These are very good, are um, uh, easy to use and the adhesive is nice. So the acryl gel, I'm using the one from Mshare. You've seen it in many of my videos. It's the clear one, it's a generous amount, 60 ml. You can find it on AliExpress. The link is in the description below. And I'm placing a small amount. The good part with acryl gel is that you don't need to use slip solution. You can just use isopropyl alcohol and this uh, bamboo stick and um, tap it on the acryl gel to create the form, the shape of the nail. The stick has to be at all times wet, so soaked in isopropyl alcohol for acryl gel to mold properly. Once I'm done and when I'm happy with the extension, I cure it under LED lamp for 60 seconds. Now one more thing with acryl gel is that you don't need to use a big amount. You can make the nail as thin as possible and it will still last and it will be great. It's, it's harder. Acryl gel is harder than poly gel.
When I'm done, I'm just uh, removing the shiny layer, which is not too much shiny layer on this. After that, I, um, I uh, shape them, uh, I file them off camera. And now I'm using a little bit the sanding bit just to create the shape and the smoothness of the product on the nail. But as you can see, I could create the extension with acryl gel and I didn't need to remove the old non-stick hand gel from the nail plate. Now this is the final look and uh, if you like my channel please follow subscribe and stay tuned to see the design that will come in my next video for these nails. Thank you and I will see you next time. Bye bye.